So hey everybody, Ananias here, and we're going to be playing some Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm super excited. This is my uh, my first official request video. Uh, so we're going to dig right into it here. It has been a long time since I've played this. I owned this back in a day um, and again, played the absolute heck out of it. Uh, this isn't the cartridge I owned. Uh, unfortunately, I, I repurchased it. it. It's one of those that was kind of lost over at my folks years ago, and it, there's still a bunch of retro games I'm trying to locate um, from over there. So I ended up rebuying re it. And got a pretty good deal on it nowadays because this game is not cheap <laughs> anymore. It's not super expensive either. Well, it just depends, I guess, on how you look at it. But um, this runs online on the N64 version. Online, you're going to pay upwards of. You know, 140, 150 bucks. Uh, if you can find it in a mom and pop shop, you're going to pay more like one and a quarter. Uh, that's closer to what I paid. I paid a little less than that. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Okay. But uh, it's kind of a side note there, where he was chainsawing that uh, that N64 logo. Um, Nintendo wasn't real keen on that, from my understanding. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they, they like I said they weren't keen on it, and somebody rumor has it somebody from Rare flew out there, and and I guess they chatted, and I don't know, I, I don't know exactly the details on that, and that's all rumors, but um, as far as that goes, but but anyway, um, this game is really unique in a lot of ways, and uh, I had no idea until I started actually digging into it. Um, it was released toward the end of the N64 lifespan. Um, it, it all, you know, kind of coming on the heels of, uh, uh what was that one, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, I guess it was, um, that Rare, of course, put out as well. Super popular, Banjo-Kazooie was, and this one ended up kind of getting shelved, because originally it was supposed to be very kid-friendly, um, and, and they ended up taking it, obviously, <laughs> in the total opposite direction. Um, now there's a lot of pop culture references, uh, this scene r reminds me of that, the, uh, um, some of you may recognize that this is um, basically from Clockwork Orange. I mean, it's just straight up Clockwork Orange. So, so some of the references were older at the time, and some of them were current for the time. I think there's a whole level uh, based around the Matrix uh, <laughs> later on. So, but he's going to start talking here, and I'm going to let him well, do so. And I I'll am. join you guys here. Conquer the king. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? But how did I come to this, I hear you say? And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call a bad bird day. to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Lo love you. <laughs> I think you bought it. Conquer, put the phone down. Oh, oh, uh, right. Whose round is it? Yours. What, again? Okay. Can someone lend me a fiver? Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. 
I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilet. Not go this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, it doesn't look too good tonight. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna start. quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hop back in here. There's not a lot more dialogue here in this cutscene. Um, this game was released three different times, um, at least in physical form that I'm aware of. There was the N64 release, which is what you're seeing here. And, of course, that was the original one. It was re-released on the original Xbox and was supposed to have been called, I think it was Live and Uncut. Uh, problem is that... Uh, it ended up getting cut, like certain what well, edited. So I, I think now it's well now it is called um, live and reloaded. Um, and so they had changed the multiplayer part of the game uh, to to basically to allow for the live part of that of that title. So you could play multiplayer online. Uh, but again, there were some edits, and I had a hard time finding the edit the the specific edits. Um, I, but I'm pretty sure they were all dialogue oriented. There were certain yeah. words that they just they didn't allow, and uh, one of the words um, really messed up one of the songs later uh, in the game by the by this huge pile of poo that sings, and uh, and so it, it kind of messed the song up. But anyway, then it was re re released on the Xbox One, which is easily the most uh, accessible uh, of the of the releases. Um, in that it, it runs like 15 bucks, and it's called it's on a collection of games called Rare Replay. Uh, so obviously Rare being the uh, the production company there. Um, so it's it's got a handful of their of their games uh, on that disc, and it, it runs 15 20 bucks, and is is pretty easy to find. At least last time I looked, I do have that copy, and my understanding is that it's uh, it is this version. It's it's the unedited um, uh, the unedited version. I assume it's in HD. Uh, I really hope. I mean, obviously it's it is in HD. Sorry, I meant that. I hope that it's uh, that they um, kind of you know polished it and and, <laughs> and upgraded. Because I'll be honest with you, the N64 title here, I'm seeing it on an HD television, and it it's not pretty. It really isn't. Um, I hooked no. it up to my CRT, and it looks no. fine. It looks just like I remember. Oh, uh, and it looks a little closer to what you guys are seeing on your capture. I can look down and, and look at my laptop, and I can see the game capture, and it looks much better than on the HD. On the HD TV, um, it's got huge borders around it, and it's... Uh, no. Well, I hate to say huge borders. Maybe. It's got significant borders around it. I, I guess it was designed that way to kind of tighten the resolution. Um, which brings me to my to, to a point here where uh, <laughs> most N64 games ran at uh, at 320 by 240, I, I think, and even some ran as high as 640 by 480. Uh, a lot of people. Well, if I can. Okay, here we go. I feel like a lot of people think that the majority of the titles ran at 640 by 480, but they, they actually didn't. Uh, this one actually runs as low as 292 by 214, and yes, I had to look that up. Um, 
Because I, I knew the resolution was actually pretty low. It looks fine, as, as I said, on a CRT, but man, on an HD, on an HD TV, it really, really suffers. Now, the cartridge itself, as far as 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 far as the storage capacity of the cartridge, um, is actually pretty pretty big. Um, it was one of the last releases uh, on the N64. One of the, well, later one anyway. Um, but it's a 64 meg cartridge where most of the N64 library was 8 or 16 megs. Um, now I think some were even as, as small as 4 megs. Uh, to kind of give you a, a, a comparison, the uh, or Zelda Ocarina of Time was 32. So this literally was twice the size. And it had to be because of the dialogue. It was just, I mean... I just I don't think the game was was that long really. I, or at least I don't remember it being that long. God, it's been so long since I've played this. And even you know honestly, the, the last <laughs> the last bit that I remember playing it was the multiplayer uh, aspect of this game, which was just absolutely a blast. And that is definitely going to be something that I revisit. Um, you know, with a friend of mine, you know, it, we'll end up playing this, and I'll do some some recording because the, the, the multiplayer is just so fun. As a matter of fact, that was a huge selling point on the uh, on the original Xbox when they re-released it because uh, they wanted to do a, a online version of it. So okay, so my squirrel's not drunk anymore. And speaking of which, you, you probably noticed he <laughs> he barfed earlier. That may be <laughs> one of the only. Nintendo games where a character actually actually pukes it <laughs> might be the only one I, I don't know. Oh, I can't but, uh, any further. I'm sure there was something. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you are looking to end up getting a uh, anybody out there is end up getting the cartridge version of this, there's definitely some things you want to look for because it is a uh, I feel like a highly uh, bootleg slash repro game. Um, in all fairness, you know, a lot of these are, are reproductions. Right? They're, they're straight up honest with you, uh, you know, that um, um, that it is a reproduction. Uh, but, you know, once somebody somebody buys them, and I'm going to turn the volume down just a hair on my television. It's a little too loud. Anyway, um, they're really straight up, but you know, it, whenever somebody ends up buying it and you find it at, at like a yard sale or, or, or something like that, or at a flea market and somebody's asking obscene amount of money for the for the game, you want to make sure that what you're getting is is um, what you want, because uh, the repros are pretty cheap. You can get a reproduction of this game for you know twenty bucks, twenty five dollars, something like that. That'll it'll play in the system, and for a lot of people, that's all they all they want. Um, but if you're looking for an actual uh, original version of this. There's some things to look for. Um, on, on the cartridge itself, on the outside, and this goes for any N64 title, uh, if you flip it over and look at the back, on that back label on the far right side, you should see two embossed numbers. It doesn't matter what it, what they are, uh, but you should see two embossed numbers into the label. I've never seen a reproduction cartridge with, that, with those numbers. Um, if you were to look up inside the cartridge, You'll see some raised numbers, which you should. Uh, kind of where the chip set is coming out or sticking out, uh, you should see some numbers on that plastic. Not on the chipset plastic itself, but up in, like where the chipset, where the, it sticks through the plastic. Um, that piece of plastic, you should see some numbers, as well as the plastic that is facing the, the chips on both sides, um, up inside again, you, you should see some numbers raised there as well. If you don't see those things, it, it's a reproduction cartridge, at least the out. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's see if I can remember how to get out of here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Um, so, so that would at least tell you whether or not the, um, I think it's this direction. Okay. That would at least tell you if the casing is original or not. Now, with this game specifically, it's very easy to tell whether the board is uh, is correct or is original. Uh, but you still have to open the uh, open the cartridge, which is is really not difficult. You just need the right tool. Uh, and, and I would Google that because I'm probably wrong. Uh, I think it's a 3.5. 
and I can't remember the, the name of the actual tool. It looks sort of like an inverted uh, Torx, um, and that may be literally all it's called. Um, Hang on. In, in that the the male Hang end uh, of, of a standard a uh, Torx. Well, the male end is on the the screwdriver type that the, on the handle is the male end of the Torx, but on the cartridges. Uh, the mail end sure is actually on the cartridge, on the bolt itself. So it's it's literally just it's backwards. Um, and I think it's a 3.5 millimeter, but but I would Google that. Uh, it's a really inexpensive tool. Um, okay, cool. Um, and then once you take those off, once you take those two bolts out, often the the back of the cartridge comes off, and there's two Phillips screws. And so you'll you'll need a small Phillips for those two. But anyway, once you get actually down to the down to the board, um, if you see a small disc battery, <laughs> uh, larger than what was is in a watch, it's like a 20, 20, 20 wait twenty twenty three maybe I, I can't remember the number. But anyway, point is, is if you see a disc battery on that board, it is not an original N sixty four title. Um, or not an, an, an original cartridge, sorry. Um, and now the reason that that battery is on there brings me to a whole nother, <laughs> a whole nother uh, part of the uniqueness of this particular game, in that this game will allow you to save without using the memory card. Very, very few N64 titles would allow you to do that. And so in order to fake it, um, People that were reprodu reproducing the game or bootlegging it or you know whatever word you want to use had to be able to do that, and so uh, there's a battery on there. Um, the original is is more like a I don't know like a USB or something up inside like it like the USB was actually on the board. Um, so it's my understanding anyways is it's basically deriving power when the cartridge is plugged in. Let's go and get some shit power that way. But there's no battery on the on the uh, on the original card. Let's see here. Okay. Very cool. And you know, I'd be more than happy uh, to continue playing this. As a matter of fact, I, I will keep playing this. It's just a matter of uh, whether I do it on camera or not. There's a lot of things I wanted to say and kind of get out in this first video. Um, but there's going to be uh, there's going to be a lot of videos that I've I've already done that I'm going to go back and do a part two or part three part four etc. Um, and I'd love for this one to be one one of them. Um, oh. it, but I would like to play the actual N64 version. Um, I may throw the rare replay just to see what it looks like. I'm sorry, yeah, the rare replay version to see what it looks like on an HD television just to see the the stark difference. Um, but if, if somebody out there is not familiar with the N64, having this much dialogue is just unheard of. Uh, now, there, granted, there's a lot more cutscenes here at the beginning, but there are dialogue scenes. And, and like I said, there's a big, huge pile of poo that sings later. I mean, how can you beat that, right? Um, but it, there's just, it, just, it just wasn't something that was done. Um, as a matter of fact, and, you know, one reason that... Uh, that uh, Squaresoft at the time, Square Enix now, but Squaresoft at the time left Nintendo was uh, the constraints of having a cartridge. There just wasn't enough space to do what they wanted to do. Um, not that, you know, they could have. I mean, you know, the Final Fantasy is massive. Um, but, you know, that's kind of interesting. Now that I'm thinking about that, it's, it, it's kind of completely re reversed, hasn't it? Like... The amount of space they can put on a cartridge is vastly higher now than anything you could put on a mass-produced uh, disc format. Um, I mean, a, a, a cartridge got a mini, uh, what is that, mini SD cartridge, a, a terabyte or higher, um, you can get them now. Uh, which, I mean, a terabyte would <laughs> blow anything out of the water that, that could be put on a disc as far as space goes. I hadn't really thought about that until just now. Um, but they have all the dialogue and all the space they could possibly need um, in a uh, in like a Nintendo Switch cartridge, for example. Um, hmm. Anyway, so this is a, I think feel like this is a pretty good place to stop it. Uh, kind of entering into the the main world of the game here, kind of past the tutorial. Um, I, I guess you could say, although you do you do learn things that you know as you're going here. So uh, you learn new moves and, and 
and different things. But, but anyway, I think I'm going to stop it here. So, uh, you know, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Thanks.